Hi guys, just a quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can get your hard drives within your Cloud Shell 2 uh, for your X4, XU4 device. We're just going to mount them and format them and reboot the system and then they should be there forever uh, until you disconnect them. So let's waste no time. Let's log into the box. So I'm using uh, secure CRT you can just use put your terminal if you haven't got access to this so as you can see we're loaded we're, I'm logged in and what I want to do first is an update I've forgotten how to type it there we go and the program we're gonna sorry we're gonna update this so just to make sure that we have the latest lists package lists so okay so what i want you to install first is we we'll type install and it's ls hw okay that's saying i've already installed it that's because i've used it previously so let's do what we want to do is run that so ls hw hyphen capital c disk oh can't see like that and what this is going to do, it's going to search the USB SATA ports on your cloud share, uh, sh shell and it's going to tell us which is which. So we've got two four terabyte hard drives and the thing to look for here is the logical name. As you see, it's dev and it's SDA. We'll need this throughout the whole video. So go ahead and copy and paste that into like a notepad or some sort. Let's clear this screen. So I've got those noted down. First thing we want to do is create the partition. So we're going to do sudo or sudo uh, parted and we're going to type that drive in. So four stroke dev s b sorry s d a. Okay, I'm going to push enter on that and we're in the parted menu. So you could type help if you want and you can see the list of commands, but we're not going to do that. First thing we want to do is make a label GPT. So we type that mk label space gpt enter on it then we want to say unit capital t capital b for terabytes okay and finally we want to do mk part space primary zero 100 percent then what we want to do unlike fdisk those uh, changes have already been written to the drive now so we don't need to save then exit we'll just type uh, quit and now what we need to do is do it to the other drive. So I'm going to change that E to, the, to a B. And MK, MK label GPT. And then what we're going to do is again, we're going to type in unit TB. See if it, no, I can't push up, it won't let me. MK part primary zero one percent and we're going to quit out of that so we've now got two partitions on both of the drives uh, ready to be formatted so what we're going to do is format it now so you want to do a sudo mkfs space hyphen t space xt ext3 hyphen m zero four stroke dev four stroke s d a okay now these commands here this is this mkfs is the is like a dos equivalent to format and the t uh tat out option you've got there that's spe uh, specifying the the partition type so we want to be ext3 which is ba basically one of the best partitions uh par ext4 but in this for the little box you this is the best format so we've specified ext3 and then what we want to do is do a hyphen m and a zero what this does is it tells the system not to put any uh space aside for when the hard drive runs out of space by default uh five percent no i think it's five percent yes five percent is reserved for system operations but since i'm only storing like video files and uh images and what like that i don't need 
for that, that whose drives to have a reserve. So if you do want a reserve, and obviously five percent off um, four terabytes, you you know you're looking at how much is that? It's, it's just try to work out the math now. It's fifty gig per uh, a terabyte, so it's like two hundred terabytes if you got four gig. So you can put a one in there if you want. In my case, I'm just going to put zero, and I'm going to push enter on there. Okay, we want to format anyway. Now this takes does take a while, so go and get yourself a coffee uh, whilst you go ahead and format your drives. I'm actually going to pause it here and resume after I've done both of the drives. But if you follow those instructions, what I've sh showed you just a minute ago, it should be fine. There is an another part we need to do, which is mounting the drive. So when we reset, uh, when we turn off the machine or in a moment we want to use those drives we've got them mount them to the operating system i'll explain more later uh i'll see you back in a bit hi guys i'm back so hopefully you got your drive or drives formatted i certainly did so what we need to do now is mount them within the fstab or tell fstab to mount these drives into a location so what you need to do is first need to make a directory for these drives to be mounted to now i actually did this earlier so i'm going to get an error here um saying it already exists but i'll just write it anyway so i'm doing sudo mkdir which will make the dir dir and we're going to make it in a, uh, the path media and the folder name saturn so yeah it always says it's already there obviously you type in whatever you want there to mount it as but that's how you access the files which will be in media and whatever you name your mounts okay so i actually called mine saturn then i actually called the other one mars so i can remember those so i'm going to clear that now what we need to do is we need to get a thing called the uuid from the drive so we can add that information into the f stab which is uh, what gets mounted on boot up so we're going to do that and run that command as you can see we've got their sda and we've got the sdb they're the ones we want and we need to copy that code there and that code there so i'm going to copy these now and the next one And I'm going to gonna clear, clear the screen. And then what we want to do is we want to edit the F stab. So we're going to do sudo nano hyphen capital B W ETC F stab. Now the B, the capital B is basically will tell uh, nano to create a backup of the original and the w means no wrap so let's go in there we should see some files already in there okay so we're going to add another one here and i'll tell you what to type so first thing you want to do is uuid equals then we need to copy in our uid okay then we want the mount path okay so in this case the first drive is saturn and we know that's in media okay uh i've forgotten how to spell saturn okay and then we're going to do a space and then we've got to tell it what file system it is so in our case it's ext3 and the next column we need to give it some options in this case we're going to take all the uh, default options um which you can find out on uh by looking online there's the loads what comes with f stab but the only one we don't uh, the, there's only one thing we do want to add or at least i want to add onto the drive is i don't want to allow binaries to be run from them so this is going to be storing like uh clip art and uh video files and audio so i don't want people on my network or even myself being able to download a binary and execute it on the drive so we're going to do no exec and then the next option is dump 
which is like a backup utility dump for the backup file system we're not using that so we just do zero for, for false and then we've got pass which means basically uh, what priority does the drive need to be so as you can see here we've got a one and what that means is this will fire before number two okay so these are high priority the two system folders and then our mounts are not that important we need the file system to come first so let's do the other one uuid equals and i'll copy that and i'm just going to copy all of that and i'm just going to change that to mars and i was going to do Control x on the keyboard and it's going to ask me do i want to save yes i do so that is all added into f stab which means on the next boot it means we're going to be able to have uh, it's going to be mounted there or at least i hope it is so let's reboot the system now i'm just going to type sudo reboot okay so it's gone quiet behind me with the fan so i can t tell it's rebooting now is it rebooting yes it is so hopefully i will try to reconnect to it in a moment and it will work there we go so it's booted back up i'm going to reconnect to this one because i i was on this uh video uh, window why is where's it yeah reconnect okay so we're logged back in so now we need to see if the drives are actually mounted so we do cd media cd come out of there cd media cd bars okay and i can tell it's already mounted it's mounted because there's a lost and found in there um so if i was to do like a make dir um test okay that's what i wanted to show you so at the moment we haven't got any permissions set on there so only the root can write to those folders so what we need to do now is uh put those file permissions so we can write into the directory and read it so there is there is an option a simple option you can use which i'll just paste in here you could do not that that's not what i wanted <laughs> so let's do a clear so what we need to do now in order to add files and folders and whatnot to those uh, uh to the media which is saturn and mars we need to basically tell um tell the system that this folder belongs to this user and they can do whatever they want so what we need to do is sudo hyphen capital r which means recursive and we're going to say simon of group simon portrait media saturn and we're going to do the same for mars okay so we're going to go into mars now and we're going to uh make a make a file so nano test file this is a super duper video and i must remember to click the like and subscribe hell yeah so let's see if we can write that and let's do a test to make sure well that is the test really um let's try the other folder so cd saturn and what we'll do is we'll download a file to see if we can download a file something different do, 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 do. okay so i'm grabbing a file so let's do a wget and if you noticed i'm not actually doing sudo at the beginning so i am actually uh got i do have permission to write into this folder so we're going to download this 
and as you can see has no problem right into the disc and whatnot and we'll do a quick delete which will work because I've just written 100 megabyte file now why is that not doing that uh, capitals Woohoo! that completes the little tutorial guys I'm actually gonna do a follow-up video for Zamba so if you wanna if you are thinking of putting that on there uh, do check my videos and I'll upload it soon speak to you soon bye bye